Hey guys, welcome to the Smart Home Buyer Workshop. My name is Carl Spateri, and I'm here to talk to you about five common mistakes made by first time home buyers. Mistake number one, saving too much money for down payment. And in just thinking about it, that's probably, you're thinking that, how could you possibly save too much money for down payment? I'd like to pay for a house cash. Well, so would I, right? The, the issue you have is in saving money for down payment, a lot of the time what's happening is as you're saving an extra thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars, the market continues to rise. So you, you may have $20,000 saved for a hundred thousand dollar purchase, but by the time you save $20,000 for that purchase, now the price of housing is $105,000 or $110,000. So now you don't have the 20%. So now you gotta wait a little longer till you save a little bit more money. And then if pricing can, if house pricing continues to go up, you know, you're falling behind essentially. Number two, common mistake number two is poor, putting more money down than you should. Say you have 20% saved on this $100,000 home, right? Well. That's great, you put $20,000 down, that's all the money you have, and now you will go into the house, you have moving expenses, you have repairs that might need to be made, maybe a remodel job, maybe new kitchen cabinets or a refrigerator, right? You have all this stuff that you may need to go buy, and what happens? You go to the local big box hardware store, and you now open up a big box hardware store credit card, that charge you somewhere between 18 and 28% interest on that purchase that maybe by putting 15% down, holding 5%, $5,000, you could have paid cash for the stuff and finance it at whatever a low mortgage rate goes for and amortize it out over 30 years. It makes more sense to do it that way, in my opinion. Common mistake number three is not buying something you love. Too many times, first time home buyers will just settle for something. Oh, it's on a busy street, but we're only gonna be here a couple of years. Uh, it's on the freeway on ramp. Uh, it's, you know, it's whatever. It's in this neighborhood we don't like, or it's near schools we wanna be in, or whatever it happens to be. You have to remember that if something bothers you when you're buying a home, chances are when you're trying to sell the home to get into your, your next step, right? that that same challenge could be there for the new buyers of your home. So just keep that in mind. Uh, common mistake number four is not knowing what you can afford. You know, it's really nice to, to be able to afford something, right? Let's say it's this $100,000 home that doesn't exist throughout the country, but we'll just keep using it as an example. So you qualify for the $100,000 home, but you go out and look for at million dollar homes. I guarantee you, you're gonna like the million dollar home a lot more than you are the hundred thousand dollar home. So why set yourself up for defeat? Once you see the million dollar home, that's gonna be your new standard. So find out what you can afford first and try to stick within that, that realm of what it is you can afford. You can go up, up a little bit, of course, to see, well, maybe if we wait a little while, maybe if that raise comes through, you know, but that kind of stuff matters. But knowing what you can afford will help you and probably speed up the process a little bit. Common mistake number five is buying your dream home before it's time. Hey, you saw that million dollar home on the bluff with the ocean view and it's like, wow, we can actually afford this. You could and maybe you can, right? So let's say you afford it and let's say you're a young married couple and it's your desire to have a start a family, to travel the world, to go back to school, whatever it is your, your goals are, right? And if, if you're spending all your money, all your disposable income, all your money on a monthly basis, financing this dream home, it no longer is a dream. It, it kind of, kind of could be a nightmare. If your goal as a, as a couple is to travel the world and you no longer can travel the world because you got to make your mortgage payment. Is that really your dream home? You know, maybe in five years, that would be very affordable and you could still travel the world, right? Or have a start a family or whatever, you know, again, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. So these are five common errors I think that just, you need to think through, make sure you don't make the mistakes. I want to help you. I want to be your mortgage professional that you go to for now and in the future. Please leave comments below. I look forward to answering any and all questions you might have. Thank you very much. Good luck on your first home purchase.